is with me, Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn the post notifications. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. I have a book haul for you guys. A big book haul. So, I have a lot of books that have accumulated, I want to say, over the last several months, like other people do, but no. These have been accumulated very recently. And I have a lot to go through with you guys. So let's start with the one that my mom bought and read and now is going on my TBR shelf, which is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. And this is the same author that wrote the Lunar Chronicle series, which I love. And so this is another fantasy book. Um, yeah, so the back, does, like it has some of the... Things Entertainment Weekly says a mashup of fairy tales and science fiction across between Cinderella, Terminator, and Star Wars, and I love all three of those. And then the Wall Street Journal says Prince Charming among the cyborgs, and MTV says a binge reading treat. So hopefully this is good. My mom liked it, so hopefully I will too. Next, I got the first book in the Bridgerton series, which is The Duke and I by Julia Quinn. I've read the second book, which is Anthony and Kate's story, and this one is Daphne and, I forget his name, what's his name? Simon, and it's their story. Next, I have Dark Fall by Dean Koontz. Oh, and these are all from Value Village so far. And next I have Dark Fall by Dean Koontz, and I don't know anything about this, but it's Dean Koontz, and I love his books, so I thought I'd pick that up. Next I got Dead Ground by M.W. Craven. I know nothing about this, but I needed a fifth book, and it sounded like it was good. It looks pretty good, so hopefully I enjoy that. Next I got an Agatha Christie book. I got A Murder is Announced, and I love Agatha Christie, so I thought I'd pick this up as soon as I saw it. And then I also got Insurgent by Veronica Roth, which is the second book in the Divergent series, as well as Allegiant, which is the third book in the series. So now I have that trilogy. And I also have by Robin Hobb Dragon Keeper, which is volume one of the Rainwilds Chronicles. So never read a Robin Hobb before, but I have heard great things about her. Next, I needed a fifth book today for its buy four, get one free. So I got this Nora Roberts Dark Witch, which is book one of the Cousins O'Dwyer trilogy. I know nothing about this, but well, that's pretty. Anyways, that is that one. I also finally found... Firestarter by Stephen King. I've only ever found this at Chapters or like on Amazon and it's like 20 $28 and I'm like I don't want to spend that on this book but this one was only five dollars so I had to pick it up and I can't wait to read this. I've never read Stephen King before but I am looking forward to it. And now I also have no excuse not to finish the Percy Jackson series because I read the first four and I just have the fifth one left to read which is The Last Olympian and I got it today so I will probably hopefully finish this series pretty soon. I do like it so. And now I'm down to those were all Value Village books. Now I have some that I got from Chapters. So first I read November 9 at the beginning of this year and loved it, so I thought I'd get another Colleen Hoover book. I picked up Layla, and it says, Love can haunt or heal. When Leeds meets Layla, he's convinced he'll spend the rest of his life with her, until an unexpected attack leaves Layla fighting for her life. After weeks in the hospital, Layla recovers physically, but the emotional and mental scarring has altered the woman Leeds fell in love with. In order to put their relationship back on track, Leeds whisks Layla away to... The bed and breakfast where they first met. Once they arrive, Layla's behavior takes a bizarre turn. And that's just one of the many inexplicable occurrences. And so, looking forward to reading this. I also got 
this graphic novel called Lightfall. This is volume one. It's called The Girl and the Galdurian. And this is what it looks like. It is by Tim Probert. And that's some of the art. And I thought this sounded really good and cute. And I can't wait to read that. And then lastly, from Amazon, I got Timid by Devney Perry. And I am really looking forward to reading this. Um, it says, Willa Dune has always been shy. Her quiet demeanor was something she's always embraced. That is until Jackson Page moves to town. The one man she desperately wants to take notice struggles to remember her name. Year after year, Willa stands by watching as the bartender slash playboy drowns his de demons in beer and sex. Then one night he shows up at her door, suddenly aware that the girl he's seen around Lark Cove is now a beautiful woman. Except what he doesn't remember is that this visit isn't his first. They spent a night together once before. A night he's forgotten thanks to a bottle of tequila. A night that crushed a timid girl's heart and set a broken man on the path to heal them both. So, I am looking forward to this. I just got this today. And so, that is my book haul. I got a lot of books, I know. And I am glad that I finally filmed this book haul because I don't want these books to pile up even more than they already have. Um, but if you made it this far in the video, please leave the book stack emoji because there are a lot of books here and I've made two separate stacks. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Before you go, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on post notifications, and I will see you all next time. Bye!